Hello, Internets. I'm back with another unboxing. Today I have Little Big Bites Series 2. Dare to unbox the bite. Dun dun dun. These are by Hasbro, of course. So, for real, I thought that was a company, but nope. Hasbro, till all are one. I hate those guys. The love-hate relationship with Hasbro, you know? They own everything I love. <laughs> but they didn't make them in the first place for the most part. They just uh, bought out the people who did. Oh man. It really did a number of this packaging. I'm gonna need a big tool. I'm not a tool. Oh, almost wrecked the place. <laughs> this is gonna take some exacting measures. There we go. Dang shrimp wrap. Let's see. Includes one dare box, one figure, and one keychain with themed accessory. 24 to collect, each sold separately. Huzzah! Dare to unbox the bite. Is that everywhere? There's a little perforation there, so I guess that's uh, you break it. Fair enough. Oh, and it's got a hole in the, oh, hole in the top here. And you're supposed to put your finger in the hole. And oh, it bit down on my finger. It's a mildly painful like it doesn't have strong force to it but it does have enough that it like gripped on my finger like and it's a puffer fish thing oh that's cool <laughs> how do i get this off oh okay that's cool it locks open and you like push the tongue and it chomps down on you. Nope, oh, that closes up totally. It, it clicks twice, so I wonder if I can. Yep, does it kind of be open? No, nope, it just closes. Okay. Look at that face. <laughs> it's got this, uh, you know, little body, little fish fins. You can stand on it. So. Thank you. 
the tongue's a little tricky to actually push it down because the way it's shaped. Oh, I guess if I put my finger in that way, yeah. This has to be the right way. If I go in this way, it's a little hard to push the button. But that way, it, it pushes it. Now, let's see what else is in the box. This is, uh, this is a pamphlet. Oh, the stand. It's got a little peg. It's got a little slot. So you can uh, stand on this thing. It kind of rocks back and forth. <laughs> and this will be the uh, keychain in here. Let's see what it is. Okay. It's a uh, soda. Maybe it's a frappuccino or something. Some sort of beverage with a straw. Brownish liquid. I'm guessing you're supposed to go like this. Nope. Oh. It uh, doesn't have enough weight to set it off. <laughs> Come on. Get your milkshake. There you go. <laughs> and now it's on the. Now it's a keychain. It's just got the basic little plastic clip here. The uh, craftsmanship on the uh, keychain is all uh, well, those pieces, you know, fine. It's just plastic, whatever. But. Uh, this, I don't know. I don't know how durable this will be in the long run, especially if you actually use this clippy part. It seems like it'll wear down and break relatively quickly. But this part, well, it might actually last. I might actually uh, cut off this ring bit here and just have it as like a little milkshake. <laughs> I like in this head. If I can like put it on a body, <laughs> that'd be cool. Paint, repaint it up, mount it on a on a body, and repaint it up. Take the the legs off. Oh wait, can't take the legs off because they're part of the. Uh, mechanism or are they oh I don't think they are actually no so yeah I could take the legs off to take this off totally and then uh, mount this yeah that would be hilarious I'd be like ah <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome face. And this box is pretty cool. Nice. It's got a little, little animal window. I don't know why they didn't cut out this one. They cut out that one, but not this one. Being cheap, I guess. Hasbro and Made in China and whatnot on the bottom. Huzzah! Alright, everybody's favorite part. Looking at the uh, little pamphlet inside. Let's see. Welcome to the daring world of the hungry characters from all over the universe. Who's, who's waiting for you in each box? 
a sloth from the woods, a pufferfish from the briny blue, a T-Rex from Prehistoria, or it's time to find out. And I got the one in the instructions. And uh, this one right here. Common one, I'm very sure. Doesn't actually say uh, what color is what anywhere. Just as green or blue for colors. Man, whoever laid this out did a horrible job. Like, they have the writing. facing that way right but the guys you know like they should have made the writing and the dudes orient in the same way that's ah, just a little nitpick it doesn't really matter <laughs> inconsequential plus this is really thin it's kind of hard to show on camera what's uh, going on in the background Like a, a monkey and a lawn gnome and like a rainbow colored fish and a sloth, a seahorse and uh, the dude I got, the puffer fish. A dinosaur? Or what is that? The black, it looks like a dinosaur. It says way far away. I don't know, the black thing. A dog and a uh, duck. Oh, these are dinosaurs here. Those? Oh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. And these are these are dinosaurs. And now, uh, what's what's this supposed to be? A dragon, maybe? Maybe it's supposed to be a black dragon. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this guy. case this goes. This goes in there like so. <laughs> All right. That is Little Big Bites by For Real, a division of Hasbro Co. I think it was worth a couple bucks. But what do you think, Internet? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, Internet. Later.